Hello pilots. Many of you have seen our sewing jig that we use to uh, sew the end loops and paraglider lines. Here she be. It uh, adjusts in and out for various line sizes to sandwich them so you can uh, sew them without um, any issues. Uh, but there is some time for setup. Um, so I thought I'd invent presser feet for each individual line to and see how that would work. Um, this works fantastic. I mean, your stitches are perfect uh, once you get it set up. And it takes about mm, two to three minutes to set it up for each line diameter. <clears throat> um, but if the presser foot idea works, um, then you have no setup time. And so let me give you an idea what I've come up with. Here's all my presser feet that I had made up. Uh, each one is, you know, this is DSL 70. This is a PPSL 120, 140, 160, uh, 200, and it, and it goes all the way up to 470. Uh, this is a Air, sheath air mid, 7343-420 kilograms. And you know, each, each one has a different uh, uh, gap on the bottom. You know, for the specific line size, so I, I drew all this up on CAD, and I had somebody 3D print them all. So let's uh, go through a quick demo here. Let's see. Let's try the 120 for the small line, and then we'll use the 470 on the larger line. So what I do is I just put it underneath here, drop the foot, get her down there. There we be. Okay. Then I just uh, bring the needle down. So we get the thread in the gap. There we go. Then we get, let's see, let's get the uh, stitch width set up on this. This is going to be one and a half uh, diameter and tension 6.75. There we go. And, uh, and then I have to do the foot pressure foot tension so remember on this one DSL 120 is minus six so one two three four five six that's the tension on the foot because each foot has a different heights so the intentions on them is different and so I check that by pulling these Okay, foot tension's right. And then we go ahead and bring the needle down. Now let's do reverse to start off with. We'll go forward. Okay, let's see how this thing comes out. So, you can see it's just perfect. Now I'm using a, a needle size and a thread size that's for a larger diameter line, but for the sake of expediency here, um, I'm not changing those because I'm going up to bigger line next. But uh, that's my presser foot for a smaller diameter. Okay, so let's go for a bigger diameter one. Uh, let's see here, let's grab the uh, force, yeah, the 20. And then the thicker line, let's see if this fits. This is the way I check. Put them in here and should move easy. No gap, no side to side, shimmy shimmy. So that fits that line size. Okay, so this one here, the stitch width is obviously wider, so it's two and a half, and, 
Okay. So I gotta, oops, I gotta run the needle down to get the thread in between here. There we go. And so my foot pressure on this one is minus five. One, two, three, four, five. Double check. Minus six. Minus seven. Okay, there we go. So we're good on the tension. So now we'll go do reverse. Get the needle down started. Forward. Looks like cotton tail. <laughs> presser feet are capable of so the setup time is nothing in comparison to the sewing jig so that's why I decided to go this route uh, thank you for watching